Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for standing by and welcome to the China XD Plastics First Quarter 2020 Financial Results Conference Call. At this time, all participants are in a listen-only mode. After the speaker's presentation, there will be a question and answer session. To ask a question during the session, you will need to press star 1 on your telephone. Please be advised that today's conference is being recorded. I would now like to hand the conference over to China Axis Plastics Company Limited, Investor Relations, Shao Jie Wen. Thank you. Please go ahead, sir. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining for the call, China XC Plastics First Quarter 2020 Financial Weapons Conference Call. Joining me on the call today are Mr. Jie Han, Chairman and CEO, Mr. Qin Wei Ma, Chief Operating Officer, and Chief Technology Officer, Mr. Taylor Dang, Chief Financial Officer. Earlier today, China XT Plastic issued a press release announcing the first quarter 2020 results. Before management presentation, I would like to refer to the same public statement connection with today's conference call and remind our listeners that management's prepared remarks during the call may contain forward-looking statements which are subject to risk and uncertainty, and that management may make additional forward-looking statements in response to your questions. All statements other than statements of historical fact contained are forward-looking statements, including but not limited to the company's growth potential in international markets the effectiveness and profitability of the company's product diversification, the impact of the company's product mix shift to a more advanced product and related pricing policy, the volatility of the company's operating results and financial condition, the company's projection of performance in 2020, and other risks detailed in the company's filings with the SEC are and available on its website at www.fec.gov. This is forward-looking statements involve no and unknown risk and uncertainties and are based on current expectations, assumptions, estimates, and projections about the company and the industry. The company therefore claims the protection of the safe harbor for forward-looking statements that is contained in the Private Security Litigation Reform Act of 1995. Actual results may differ from those discussed today, and we refer you to a more detailed discussion for the risks and uncertainties in the coming filing with the SEC. To supplement the financial results present in accordance with the US GAAP, management will make reference to earnings before interest declines, income tax, depreciation, and amortization, which we refer to as EBITDA. EBITDA is a non-GAAP financial measure for themselves from net income, which the company believes to provide meaningful additional information to better understand its operating performance. A table reconciling net income to EBITDA can be found on the earning press release issue early today. I would now like to turn the call over to our chairman and chief executive officer, Mr. Han, Mr. Han will be speaking in Chinese, and I will translate his opening remarks into English. Mr. Han, please go ahead. Hello, Han Zhong, please continue. Uh, Han Zhong, you are, please continue. 
啊，哎，没没听见吗？喂，哎，刚跟你签收。喂，现在可以，现在可以。啊，刚才没听见，不好意思啊。受这个新冠疫情的严重影响，公司汽车行业产销出现大幅下滑。今年一季度汽车产销同比分别下降。百分之四十五点二和百分之四十二点四。中国信达为配合当地政府隔离号召，公司国内工厂二月份、三月份关闭停产，迪拜工厂自二月份以来，至今还处于关闭状态。二零二零年一季度，中国信达主营业务收入同比下降百分之五十二。国内市场各大区域总销售额同比下降百分之五十一点一。面对汽车市场产业链中断、订单减少，公司主动调整、积极应对，在一季度持续境内推行销售高价半成品的营销策略，在一季度人民币平均销售价格较去年同期总体。提升百分之六十五点六，部分抵消了销售下降百分之七十的影响。Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, China's auto industry was hit hard with production and sales decreased by 45.3% and 42.4%, respectively, for the first quarter of 2020. The company's manufacturing facility in Harbin and Sichuan were temporarily shut down in February and March 2020, while our Dubai facility's operation has been suspended since early February 2020, pursuant to the local government directives. During the first quarter of 2020, the company's revenue decreased by 52%, and our domestic sales decreased by 51.1% in all regions. As compared to the same period of the last year, the company has taken proactive measures to respond to this change from the supply disruption and the decreased orders of auto industry. We continue to promote sales of high-priced semi-finished goods in the domestic market during the first quarter of 2020. We are pleased to see an overall increase of 65.6% in the average. IMB selling price of our product to partially offset the decreased sales volume of 70 percent. 与此同时，中国信达在疫情中积极应对，转型开始生产疫情所需产品，如护目镜和口罩所需原材料。为缓解疫情出分力，以及降低国际疫情对国内汽车行业带来的负面影响。Meanwhile, China XD has responded to the COVID-19 pandemic by producing raw materials for PPE, such as goggles and masks, to help alleviate the pandemic to our communities and mitigate the negative impact. Of the world pandemic on Chinese auto industry. 随着公司复工复产，公司基建项目也得到了恢复进行。我们计划在二零二零年第三季度完成黑龙江基地十万吨工程塑料升级改造项目，并在二零二零年四季度完成黑龙江秦岭路和江南中环路两个工厂。设备升级和大修项目，实现黑龙江基地产能重新回到三十九万吨。与此同时，我们计划在二零二零年第四季度完成四川工厂剩余十条生产线的设备安装，实现四川基地产能三十万吨。随着迪拜基地产能逐步提升，公司以销售。高端产品为目标，公司有信心在更多的领域和市场获得进一步的发展。We also resume our commitment to completing our industrial projects for upgrading existing equipment for 
100,000 metric tons of engineering plastic by the end of the third quarter of this year. And our Qingning Road project and Jiangnan Road project for equipment upgrade and factory revamping by the end of the fourth quarter of 2020. Thus bringing the production capacity in Heilongjiang campus back to 390,000 metric tons. At the same time, we expect to complete additional 10 production lines in our Sichuan plant by the end of the fourth quarter of this year. Thus to bring the total capacity of Sichuan base to 300,000 metric tons. Together with the production capacity ramp up in Dubai, we are confident in our ability to make further inroads into more specialized high-end products for various applications in more other markets. We we will continue to optimize our management structure and enhance our operating efficiency. We are confident through our cooperation with Chinese big banks to successfully execute our expansion strategy in multiple regions and sectors. And to be confident with our core market positioning and expand platform of roles. 现在我想把会议交给张大赫，我们首席财务官来为大家介绍公司的财务状况。大赫。With that, I would now turn the call over to Taylor Zhang, our CFO, to walk you through our financials. Taylor. Thank you, Ms. Han. Thank you, Xiao Jie, and uh, thank you everyone for joining the call today. Before I reveal the numbers, let me remind you that all figures I discuss are for the reporting period, the first quarter of 2020, unless I state otherwise. Additionally, any year-over-year -year comparison is to the first quarter of 2019, and a sequential comparison is to the first quarter of 2019. So let's go over our first quarter results. Revenues were $144.8 million in the first quarter, a decrease of $156.7 million, or 52%, compared to $301.5 million in the period of last year. This was due to the decrease of 70% in sales volume, 5.5% negative impact from exchange rates due to depreciation of RMB against U.S. dollars, partially offset by an increase of 65.6% in the average RMB selling price of our products <clears throat> as compared to those of the same period last year. In the domestic market for the three months ended March 31st, 2020, revenues from domestic market decreased by $151.1 million or 51.1% as a combined result of a decrease of 69.8% in sales volume a depreciation of RMB against US dollar by 5.5%, <clears throat> and partially offset by an increase of 67.4% in the average RMB selling price of our products, <clears throat> as compared with those of prior year. According to China Association of Automobile Manufacturers, automobile production and sales in China decreased by 45.2% <clears throat> and 42.4% respectively for the first quarter of 2020 as compared to the same period last year. Due to the severe impact of COVID-19 pandemic, the macroeconomic conditions were exuberated sharply resulting in ceased auto production and select consumer market. The company has temporarily closed its manufacturing facility corporate offices in accordance with the requirements of the PRC government beginning in early February with the limited support from the company's employees, delay access to raw material supplies, and inability to deliver product to customers on a timely fashion. 
the company's business was negatively impacted and has generated lower revenue during the period from February to April 2020. Our domestic sales during the first quarter of 2020 severely decreased by 51.1% in all regions as compared to the same period of last year, including the decrease of sales by 58.6% in Northeast China, 26.1% in North China, 43.7% in East China, 74.9% in South China, 74.5% in Central China, and 64.7% in Southwest China in this quarter compared to the same period of last year. As for RMB selling price, the the increase of uh, 67.4% was mainly due to the sales of high-priced semi-finished goods in the domestic market during the three months ended March 31st, 2020. In overseas market for the three months ended March 31, 2020, Revenues was $0.2 million as compared to $5.8 million of that in 2019. The Dubai facility was temporarily shut down since late February and has now resumed its operation till the current period, which was which has negatively impacted operation in Dubai facility. Gross profits was $5.2 million in a quarter ended March 31st, 2020, compared to $50.3 million in the same period of 2019, representing a decrease of 89.7% or $45.1 million. Our gross margin decreased sharply to 36 during the quarter ended March 31st, 2020, from 16.7% during the same, same quarter of 2019, primarily due to the decreased sales of finished goods as a result of COVID-19 pandemic and increased cost for idle capacity as a result of shutdown. GNA expenses were $6 million in the quarter ended March 31st, 2020, compared to $8.8 million in the same period of 2019, representing a decrease of 31.8% or $2.8 million. The decrease were primarily due to the decrease of $2.9 million in salary and welfare as a result of management cost reduction measure to cope with the impact from the COVID-19 pandemic. R&D expenses were $3.8 million in the quarter ended March 31st, 2020, compared, compared with $10.1 million in the same period of 2019, representing a decrease of $6.3 million or 62.4%. This decrease was due to a decrease of $5.9 million in raw material consumptions by by R&D, a decrease of $0.1 million in salary and welfare for R&D personnel, and a decrease of $0.3 million in depreciation. As of March 31, 2020, the number of our ongoing research and development products was 325. Total operating loss was $4.7 million in the first quarter ended March 31st, 2020, compared to operating income of $31.2 million in the same period of 2019, representing a decrease of 115.1% or $35.9 million. This increase is primarily due to the lower gross margin and partially offset by the lower operating expenses. The effective income tax rates for the three months period ends, ended March 31st, 2020 and 2019 was negative 8.8% and 24.9% respectively. The effective income tax rates decreased significantly from 24.9% in last year to negative 8.8% for this quarter, primarily due to the operating loss incurred as a result of COVID-19 pandemic. Net loss was $11 million for the first quarter of this year, compared to a net income of $11 million in the same period last year, representing a decrease of $22 million or 200%. Basic and WD losses per share for the first quarter of 2020 were both 16 cents, compared to 16 cents earnings per share for the same period of 2019. <coughs> the average number of shares used in this 
second mutation will basically dilute losses per share. For so three months ended March 31st, 2020, was 66.9 million, compared to 50.9 million shares for the earnings per share in the period last year. EBITDA was $21.7 million for the first quarter of 2020, compared to $47.6 million for the same period of last year, representing a decrease of $25.9 million, or 54.4%. For detailed reconciliation of EBITDA and non-GAAP measure to its nearest GAAP equivalent, please see the financial tables at the end of our press release issued early today. Now let's turn to the balance sheet. As of March 31st, 2020, the company had $190.4 million in total amount of cash and cash equivalents and restricted cash, a decrease of $38 million or 16.6% as compared to $228.4 million as of December 31st, 2019. Mainly due to the operating cash outflows, as of March 31st, 2020, working capital was $34.1 million, and current ratio was 1. As compared to current ratio 1, as of December 31st, 2019, stockholders' equity size of March 31st, 2020 was $812.8 million, decreased by 2.8%, <clears throat> as compared to $836.4 million of December 31st, 2019 mainly due to the net loss incurred during the three months period ended March 31st, 2020, due to the negative impact of COVID-19 pandemic. Now moving to our financial guidance and outlook for 2020, as a result of the outbreak of COVID-19 in the PRC China, auto industry production and sales drastically decreased by 33%. 0.4% and 31.14% for the first month of 2020. According to China Association of Automobile Manufacturers, it has a ripple effect and impact throughout China auto supply chain, including our company. Due to the fact the company has temporarily closed some of its manufacturing facilities and offices in PRC, the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic has a material adverse effect on our business operations. In light of these circumstances and continuing uncertainties, the company will not be able to forecast its financial guidance for the physical 2020 until further notice. Before I open the call to your questions, I would like to note that for any questions directed to Management China, I will translate both your questions and their answers. If you want to ask a question in Chinese, please also ask it in English for the benefit of our other listeners. Please also know that we'll only be able to respond to questions about financials and operating results. For other matters, including the going private offer, we refer you to our already issued press releases. We'll not be able to respond to questions that are directed to the principles of the going private offer about the proposed transaction. With that, we will now open the call to your question, operator. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, if you wish to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone and wait for your name to be announced. If you wish to cancel your request, please press the pound or hash key. Once again, if you wish to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone and wait for your name to be announced. Your first question comes from Todor Midef from Dosaidi Capital. Please ask your question. Hello. Uh, my question is about the federal tax line that was filed against you. Uh, I think it's $63 million. 
Um, do you plan to pay it before December? Hey, uh, hey Carter, thank you for the question. Uh, for the uh, federal tax liability, we have, in, we have been in communication with the uh, tax agent, and uh, there's currently under review, and uh, we believe we will reach a mutually agreed uh, solution. Uh, it's our effort to meet such tax obligation as soon as possible. Uh, as for timing, uh, because this session is still ongoing, uh, we are still uncertain at this point. Thank you. Once again, if you wish to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone and wait for a name to be announced. Once again, if you wish to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone and wait for a name to be announced. Once again, if you wish to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone and wait for your name to be announced. Once again, if you wish to ask a question, it is star 1 on your telephone keypad. Once again, if you wish to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone now. There is currently no questions at this time. I will now pass the time to Shao Jie for closing remarks. On behalf of China XT Plastics, we want to thank you for your interest and participation in this call. If you would like to speak with us further, please call either myself or Taylor in China XT's New York office, the contact number or for all of us are list at the end of the press release. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this does conclude today's conference call. Thank you for participating. You may now disconnect your lines.